Hello, welcome. Here we're looking at a system of equations and you're trying to solve for x, y, and z. So pause the video, try it out, and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, as you as you probably know, there are many ways to solve a system like this algebraically. Many orders will go in. Uh, what I'm going to do is use elimination. So that's really kind of the focus of my strategy here. And I want to call this row one. This is row two, or equation two, and then row three. So I'm going to use that as a reference to keep track of what I'm doing. So my first equation, I want to leave that alone, right, for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate these two terms here. And just hang in there with me. You'll see where I'm going with this. To do that, I know I need to have negative 2x to add to this 2x right here, and then I can just add a positive x to this one down here. So that means, if I write this out, to get rid of that 2x, I need to double the first row and add to the second. Then I have 4y and 6z and 2. And I'm going to make a note that I will do that in a moment. So negative 2 times the first row, add it to the second row, and I'm going to put that result in the second row. The idea is that I can add these two equations and create a new one that's actually still a part of the system. It's a really amazing fact. And then in the third row, and you'll see where I'm going with this, just bear with me. Uh, negative x plus 3y minus 5z equals 11. So that time, I'm going to essentially take the first row, which already has a positive x, and add to this negative x here, and every other term as well, but I'm going to eliminate these two. And I'm going to add rows 1 and 3 and put the result in row 3. Now this actually does quite a bit. If I do that, what happens? Well, the first row is unchanged, okay? But the second row, let's see, we have negative 2x plus 2x, that is 0. Then we still have to multiply everything by negative 2 in the first row and add, add to the second. So we have negative 2y plus 4y is 2y. Negative 2z plus 6z is 4z. And then negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And then in the third row, I'm going to get a 0 here because x plus negative x is 0. Then y plus 3y, that's 4y. z plus negative 5z, it's negative 4z. And then 1 plus 11 is 12. Okay, so um, next, I want to essentially eliminate this term right here. And then I'm, I, I'm basically done with the problem. So um, to, to make my life easier to do that, I, I notice that I have a 2y here. So if I do negative 2 times the second row and add it to the third row, and put that result in the third row, I'll basically have my solutions. So I'll show you what I mean. The first row is untouched. I have x plus y plus z equals 1. The second row, um, I'll leave it alone. 2y plus 4z equals 0. We could cut everything in half there, but I'll, I'll show you here that we have a solution. So negative 2 times everything in the second row times the, and then add it to the third. So 0 times negative 2 plus 0 is 0. 2y plus times negative 2 is negative 4y plus 4y is 0. And then negative 4z times negative 2 is negative 8z plus negative 4z is negative 12z. And then 0 times negative 2 plus 12 is just 12. All right. Now here we can solve for z. Negative 12z is solved already by just dividing by negative 12. So that means, you know, I'll just I'll rewrite it. So we have negative 12z equals 12. So how do we solve for z? We divide everything by 12. This is negative 1. This is 1. And then divide by negative 1 on both sides. And that's our z value. Now we can use that and plug it into the next equation up here. And then solve for y. So we have 2y plus 4 times z. So that's minus 4, right? Because 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. That's equal to 0. And we solve for y. 
sorry, this is not, look at this way I'm doing this. Okay, 2y equals 4, divide by 2 on both sides, y is 2. So we have z is negative 1, y is 2. And then we go here to our first equation, and we can see that x plus y, so y is 2, plus z is negative 1, has to equal 1. Well, 2 plus negative 1 is 1, and x plus 1 has to equal 1, so x is 0. And that is our solution here. We have x, y, and z. Let's see what the answer. Um, if they want it as a point, I'll just write it this way. Let's see, x is 0, y is 2, yep, and z is negative 1. And that's it. All right, I hope that helped.